Hi, welcome to another video for simonsvideo.com and my name is Simon Tay and today I'm going to do another Let's Play Clash of Clans this is episode 6 and what I'm going to do today is going to introduce a couple of changes to my current base for Simon Video uh, Simon Tay 78 in the clan Simon Video and what I've changed today uh, okay let's let's donate the troops to my clan mates first okay what I've changed today is I've actually wall up the this wall on the side so that there's a little island over the corner so so in a sense that um, whenever the enemy attack with wall breakers they'll attack this little island first instead of going right through to the entrance over here you know, or they go through the entrance over here and of course I've moved in the cannon from the outside to replace with the archer into the, uh, the little island without sacrificing more walls and I moved the cannon over to this side and uh, what else and later I, I realized something is wrong here uh there's a little bit of a uh, weirdness because this uh, wizard tower actually cover these two resource stor storage go mine and elixir storage this uh, particular wizard tower cover both the dark elixir storage and elixir storage so what does this uh Alex, uh, this particular wizard tower actually covers. So I was thinking, maybe I should actually change a little bit. Maybe this uh, archer tower with the wizard tower, um, so that it can cover the gold storage over the top side as well. I in a sense, it should be able to have a better coverage. And currently, I can see the wizard, the archer tower is a little bit unbalanced. So I should do a little bit change over here so that I can cover a little bit more uh, since you have two archers over here maybe I should take out one of these uh, archers out and replace it with the wizard tower so whenever there's a goblin rush I should be able to cover it much better and uh, looking at this uh, seems to be a little bit um, over focus on cannon over that side maybe I choose to change this over to replace with the cannon so the ca cannon will have a little bit of a spread out effect so here got one cannon two cannon three cannon four cannon five cannon so it's like a pentagon kind of shape which is uh, much more mm, balanced in a way and what else I also um, wall up this two side so that you have a better chance of uh, stopping the wall breakers. Well, basically, this is how I changed this strategy. So that um, actually, some of my viewers has already wall up these two area to um, you know to protect against the wall breakers from attacking uh, inside. Okay, now let's get down to the attack at trophy one thousand six hundred forty one. Let's try this see if I can do this okay let's find someone that is above 150k both gold and elixir I know it's a little bit tough yeah extremely hard to attack okay this is a very nice nice space to attack and I got a couple of things I can do with this you can see that this has been attacked before there's no reinforcement and still using the spiking old method of attack this is very nice hmm three four seconds okay so let's get down to it first get rid of some buildings that is quite far away that is not defended let me see this is not defended well this is not defended well as well mm, this one as well this one as well oh it's de being defended okay next is to prioritize what to attack there's so many resources all over the area so bottom is actually pretty nice let me try this I believe there's some some kind of hidden Tessa somewhere there oops I dropped a couple of okay let's get down to the healing I know guys you do not like me to do use spells but without the healing spells for the initial attack it's a little bit tough to 
survive the initial wave of attack. Okay, so one more. <laughs> okay, let's see. I'm going to get into the center of the base and see whether it works or not. Okay, there goes. Reinforcement. Yep, here goes the reinforcement. Let me see if I can do a multiple attack on the both sides of this base. Double wall breakers on the side. And get into the base. And let me, should I use spells? Okay, so basically I gotten most of the result. Oh, 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 my healer, where are you going? Healing the giant and <laughs> sacrifice. Awesome. Guys, I've used two spells, so it's a little bit wasteful on that. But this is a hundred, hundred plus uh, K. Go so I actually recovered two spells, so about I profit about fifty k go if I'm not wrong. So this is, I left with two uh wall breakers and two, couple more goblins trying to get the last bit of this gob uh this uh, gold storage. So let's end this. Hundred seventy eight k go and hundred seventy five k Alexa. This is a good result. I that I really like. Uh, but I'm not quite sure how much I've uh, actually utilized. I'll put in the description at the bottom subtitle to show how much I've spent on the the troops and how much I've profited from this attack. Okay, well, basically that's it for this particular Let's Play Clash of Clans episode six. And I hope you like this video. Of course, do comment in the comment section below, and of course, do forward and share this video to friends who need this uh, let's play Clash of Clans video and of course uh, do subscribe to this channel thank you very much for watching Simon's video have a nice day see ya bye bye to support for this podcast please visit simonvideo.com for more podcasts and application reviews thank you very much